Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Billy and today I want to talk about uh, what's happening over at the crazy nut house known as Westboro Baptist Church. Um, in recent events, recent happenings, uh, Megan Phelps Roper, who is the granddaughter of Fred Phelps, who is the guy who runs the whole mad crazy nut house over there, um, where they, they don't like gay people and, uh, and they pick at funerals of children who died in a school shooting and do all sorts of crazy stuff. She left Westboro Baptist Church. Uh, she's around 30. I think she's. Uh, I think she might actually be 30. I could be wrong. Don't quote me. I didn't look up her age. But I think that's around where she is. Um, she left. She ran the social media side of things for uh, for the, the Westboro Baptist Church for quite some time. Um, you know, tried to get people interested. But, I mean, really, uh, no one cared. Nobody uh, <laughs> Nobody who, like, is on social media is really that, that nut. I guess there are probably a few people who... Who were all over this this idea of of GodHatesFags.com and, and whatnot, but for the most part, people just thought they were crazy because most people are not that completely diluted um, to how the world works that they're gonna worship people who have a fucking site called GodHatesFags.com. Um, absolutely moronic. Um, but Megan Phelps Roper took uh, herself and her sister, uh, Grace Phelps Roper, who is very young, under 20. She's either 17 or 19, uh, maybe 18. I, once again, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she's uh, she's 17 or 19, if I do recall. I don't like keep up to date with the Ro the Phelps family, because they're just absolute batshit fucking crazy nuts, and, uh, and it's not something I want to uh, you know, fill my time with, but I saw this and I thought it was interesting. Uh, she released a blog post in which she quotes a Batman movie, uh, Dark Knight Rises, in fact. And she actually quotes uh, Catwoman in the film, um, something about cell phones and how everything sticks. Um, and she also says how she hopes everything sticks with uh, what they're going to be doing now after they left the church. Um, so yeah, they left the church, and uh, she, she says that no matter what, even though... Uh, their family completely cut ties with them, disowned them, has, wants no part of them even being on this planet anymore. Um, they say they're still going to love their family because they are their family, even though they don't necessarily agree with uh, with their take on how things work. Um, which, you know, fair enough. Family's family. Um, not much you can do about it. And um, she also apologized in a very, very political um, <laughs> sense uh, about the, thing, the people that they have hurt. Because she said that they always had good intentions to uh with the things they were doing and the people they were protesting and they wanted to spread a good word but people got hurt as an outcome and then they, they never wanted that to, she never wanted that to happen not necessarily they but she never wanted that to happen and uh so she apologized to everybody that she hurt and whatnot but is it sincere not really like i said it's kind of like a like a political political apology like yeah well you know uh, we weren't aware that anybody was going to be hurt. Um, and we're 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 completely sorry about anyone that was hurt in this incident. It's take it how you will. Take it how you will. Um, that being said, I really really hope that you know she she decides to live a life free of hatred and uh and, you know would like to be more accepting, like uh like uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about the Bible. I'm really not. <laughs> you know something. You know maybe she'll uh you know she'll forgive people for uh, maybe some of the the choices that they may or may not have been uh, uh, born born with things that they may or may not like depending on uh, you know whether or not they're the right gender you know you know what I'm getting at you really do um, but you know in all honesty 100% I hope that her transition from Westboro Baptist Church to the real world is as easy and as smooth as possible I really hope that you know she she completely straightens up and she's actually sorry for what she did. And I, you know, I hope she she advocates, you know, things that that she honestly believes in. I hope she does it in a peaceful way that isn't harming people or you know making people cry and whatnot. Um, even if she wants to just go get a normal job, you know, settle down, have some kids, uh, teach those kids how crazy their great grandparents are. Um, I hope they do. I hope she has a very very smooth transition. That things go well for her in the future because you know I've. I've read some of her tweets and stuff. Um, she actually legitimately does seem like a nice person, but just born into the wrong situation. And um, yeah, that's really, really unfortunate. So hopefully things uh, work out for her, and more sp more specifically her, her younger da daughter. Jesus, Billy, what are you thinking? They're not daughters. What were they doing over there in that church? Sisters having daughters with their sisters? I don't understand. Um, but I hope her sister, um, being as young as she is, really... 
finds a way to to integrate into society and then you know people don't don't hold her accountable for the things that her crazy fucking grandparents are doing and her parents for that matter um because they're all just crazy people but anyway i'm pretty much out of time here so uh i hope you enjoyed the video um I enjoyed making it. If you liked it, uh, could you please, please, please leave a like? If you didn't, just leave a dislike or even a like or, you know, or a comment. You can tell me how uh, beautiful uh, Mila Kunis is down in the comments below. I'm all right with that. I like that lady a lot, and uh, it would be cool. You can also share it with your friends, or you can post it on Facebook or tweet it or, or whatnot. That's all free and takes a very, very small amount of time, so you can also do that if you'd like. Uh, other than that, though, plain and simple, I just hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe. Uh, I'll try and post more content. See you guys later.